Hello everybody and welcome back to Real Time Football, I am Real Time, I'm bringing you the Premier League predictions video today for Premier League Game Week 10. Yes, game, Premier League Game Week 10 predictions, we've got two big games this week and Arsenal versus Liverpool Everton Man United, we are going to change to the schedule as well, now before I begin, I'm going to give you a little heads up on what our schedule will consist of, so... Uh, with the revised schedule of uh, no 12.30 of tomorrow on Saturday night football um, that being changed to 7 o'clock we'll do as part of our double header on Saturday night football we'll be bringing you Chelsea versus Wolves at 3 o'clock <coughs> and Brighton versus Spurs at 5.30 and then on Super Sunday is the triple head normally you'd see double header on Sunday you Triple header on Saturday, but it's switched. So triple header on Super Sunday with Crystal Palace taking on Leeds United. First, second up, Arsenal versus Liverpool and Everton taking on Man United at 7 o'clock. And also we'll be covering Nottingham Forest versus Villa and lots more games. So, uh, let's start off with the Bournemouth taking on the Leicester. Yes. Now Leicester City. Three point, uh, four points now on the board for them, but a horrific start to the season for Leicester. They were losing, losing, losing every single game up until Forest came and they got a win, four nil. But they were losing six two to Tottenham, five two to Brighton, one nil to United, two one to Chelsea, four two to Arsenal. It's a shambles for Leicester. Um, Bournemouth on the other hand. Same story again, isn't it, for Bournemouth? They're not look. They're not winning every game. They're not. They're drawing some games. They're only losing the games that they are expected to lose. Bournemouth. They're only losing to. They've only lost to Liverpool, Man City, and Arsenal. Those three you would expect Bournemouth to lose to, but they've dusted away Villa, and they've got draws and wins in all the games that they would expect to. They got a real no draw against Wolves. They beat Forest. They got the point against Newcastle. I thought Chelsea three or three points, and they got the point against Brentford. Bournemouth only lost to the top sides. They haven't lost to little sides. So, for that reason, based on the season, AFC Bournemouth two, Leicester City nil. Now we can talk about Chelsea versus Wolves next. That is our next game to talk about. Now Chelsea versus Wolves is quite a fun fixture usually it consists of lots oh, of nil nil draws but sorry i just put it back to bournemouth leicester um bournemouth did beat leicester last time 4-1 so uh, but no lots of draws actually in this one now the last time chelsea beat wolves was back in 2020 and then on a midweek fixture in that same season, Wolves beat Chelsea 2 1. Then there was two 0 0 draws in the. Uh... Well, hang on, sorry. No, there was. Sorry, I'm getting this wrong, aren't I? Yeah, so Chelsea 2 0 Wolves was the last time that Chelsea won. That was the end of that season. Chelsea did the double. Then Wolves in the in the no fan season beat Chelsea two one at Molyneux with Olivier Giroud on the score sheet early on and a comp comeback completed by Daniel Podence and Pedro Neto for Wolves. Since then nil 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 and then two two. Now this two two was quite a strange fixture. It was two goals from Morello Lukaku in the space of two minutes, one for the penalty spot and then he scored two minutes later from open play but then Trincao and Conor Cody, now Conor Cody's 90 plus 7 equaliser, completed the ultimate comeback for Wolves so far it is 1, 2, 3 4 unbeaten for Wolves 1 win, 3 draws but this time based on Wolves' start to the season because Wolves have not started well at all They have lost a lot. They've only beaten Southampton. They had lots of draws and lots of losses, and that's not good enough. Chelsea, 
Not been the best either, though. 3-0 defeat to Leeds and a 2-1 defeat to Southampton. Ouchie, ouchie. They did beat Leicester. They did beat Everton. They did beat West Ham and they did beat Crystal Palace. But, and this time I'm going to go for Chelsea 2, Wolves 1. Now, City, we don't really need to talk about City, Southampton. Yes, it was a host of draws last season. 1-1 one, one and 0-0. Nil, nil. But, I see City with Haaland beating Southampton by three goals to nil. And we'll move on to Newcastle versus Brentford. I expect Brentford to win this one 3-1. Brentford are the better side. Nothing more to say. Newcastle 1, Brentford 3. And let's move on to Brighton versus Spurs. Now, Brighton and Spurs have both started the season very well. Uh, let's look at the stats. So, Last season, Brighton were caught in a horrible form and they lost 2-0 to Spurs at home. But then they came to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium live on BT and they went and beat Tottenham at their own ground by a goal to nil through Leandro Trossard. And I thought that was a great win. And those two fixtures were not far away, March and April. So, do you know... And based on this, normally Brighton would beat Spurs, you know, at home. Because Brighton won Spurs nil. Brighton three Spurs nil. It's not like Brighton can't beat them. And Spurs, you can talk about Spurs. They've been in an alright form. Brighton have only lost to Fulham this season. All the rest, they've won and drawn. Bish bash bosh. Now, Spurs' first defeat came at the Emirates last weekend on Saturday. North London Derby, 3-1. But they also drew to West Ham. I thought that was quite poor. They nearly drew to Fulham. And I can see them doing well in this game. But I can also see Brighton doing well. And I've gone for a complete shocker to say Brighton Hove Albion 3-3. Spurs 2. Controversial maybe, but I think that Brighton can beat them. You know, they may not have been able to do it at their own ground last season, but they did it at Tottenham's ground last season. So I can't, you know, with the Amex behind it, I'm, I, I'm positive. Yeah, it'll be a fantastic game to watch at 5.30, I think. Uh, so Crystal Palace next, taking on Leeds United. Now Leeds, I'd say they've been in a better form than Crystal Palace, actually. You can talk about the fact that they've only won in the last five, but that win, that big, huge win against Chelsea, 3-0, dominated, won. Caught Mendy out, scored some lovely goals. That's what Leeds are about. Yes, they lose lost they lose one nil to Brighton at home away. But at the end of the day, Leeds are gonna lose some games. They drew one more to Everton. I thought that was a good draw for Leeds. They lost five two to Brentford. Bit embarrassing, but away from home. Understandable. Brentford Community Stadium is a hard stadium to go to and Arsenal know that. However, we did dominate them and beat them three 0 And then they drew nil nil to Aston Villa. They would have won that if there wasn't for a red card. Blade the red card. Blame the red card. Absolutely, just blame the red card. So yeah, Leeds did... Oh, sh so Leeds beat Palace 1-0 at home. Uh, last season, they also, um, the season before that, beat them 2-0 at home. But they drew 0-0 at Salah's Park. Um, at, lost 4-1 in the last two meetings. But 1998 was the last time that Leeds beat Palace at Salah's Park. But do you know what? I think that Leeds have got this. L 
Palace lost 4 2 to Man City. They bottled a 2 0 lead. They drew 1 0 to Brentford. They drew 0 0 to Palace and they lost 2 1 to Chelsea. And they lost, well, they won 3 1 against Villa, which is a great result. But the difference I see, I see Leeds win. So West Ham versus Fulham. Now, I'm not going to go deep into this, but I'm just going to say 1 0. I'm going to throw it out there. I think that. Uh, Fulham are in a considerably good form. They've only lost uh, three out of five. They have, they did have a good start to the season. Drew two two to Liverpool. Uh, their their only defeats are actually in this. They lost four one to Newcastle, two one to Arsenal, and two one to Tottenham. But they beat Forest three two, and they also beat Brighton two one. And I can see Fulham getting a point against this Hammers side because they've lost Everton and Chelsea. They've had some embarrassing defeats. West Ham. And do you know what? 1-1. One, one. Arsenal versus Liverpool. Now, it's a controversial one, really. Arsenal are in a better form than Liverpool, but... But, but, but... Now, the head-to-heads will show you that Arsenal won... Pretty much all the games this season, besides that United blip. Liverpool lost to United. Win versus Bournemouth. Win versus Newcastle. Draw versus Everton. Draw versus Brighton. Now, Liverpool, obviously not in the best of form. And we will have our tails up after beating Tottenham 3-1. And also beating Bowen Oakland 3-0. Both home fixtures. And our Emirates Stadium can be a fortress at times. But... I'm sticking to the agenda. Our form against Liverpool is terrible. Horrific. So bad. 3-1 defeat. 3-0 defeat. 4-0 defeat. 2-0 defeat. Well, it's on the agenda for Arsenal to lose this game. And I cannot sit... I mean, we might win. We might. But in my head, I can see what this... I'm not going to say the scoreline, but that's what I see. I don't see us beating Liverpool. I might be wrong, but I don't see us beating it. I don't think we're good enough to beat Liverpool. I think we're good enough to beat Man City at home, most certainly. We had a cracking game against them last season. Absolutely cracking game. We were so unfortunate to lose, but when it comes to Liverpool, sorry. We've got more chance to beat them at Anfield than the Emirates. We, uh, well, just before I move on to the next fixture, think about it. Two Carabao, four fixtures last season against them. One we drew, that draw came at Anfield. Lost two out of two at, at uh, Emirates. Lost one out of two at Anfield. We lost 4-0 at Anfield, then we drew 0-0 at Anfield. Then we lost 2-0 at the Emirates and 2-0 at the Emirates again. Agenda. Agenda. Everton versus Manchester United. Now, Everton, I think, are in a cracking form. United with a shambolic defeat, really. United, sorry. A shambolic defeat to City. 6-3. Embarrassing. 4-0 down at half-time. Embarrassing. Yes, they had four wins, but no. Just no. Everton are better. They've had lots of draws. They held back Liverpool at Goodison. Beat West Ham. Beat Southampton. And now I can see this. Everton 2, United 0. And the last time that Manchester United beat Everton was back in 2020. And that was an away win. Ever since then, 3 all at Old Trafford. 1 all at Old Trafford. And 1-0 at Goodison. And I can see 2-0. 2 at Goodison. Everton. Clean sheet. Easy win. Can't wait for it. And we'll finish off with the relegationers against Forest. Now, Forest are in a worse form. But I think that they can just get the three points against Villa. Mm. Now, they've lost five out of five. 2-0 to beat Tottenham. Six defeat, no defeat to City. Three two defeat to Bournemouth. Three two defeats Fulham. Four 0 defeats Leicester. 
Wipe that away. Forget Villa's form. They're crap. Forest 1. Aston Villa 0. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching, folks. Have a lovely rest of your evening. Your evening. Your day. Whatever time of day is you're watching. Whatever day you're watching. If you're watching this Saturday tomorrow. Have a good day. If you're watching this this, e this evening, Saturday evening, Friday evening, have a good evening. Whenever you're watching it, have a good day or evening. I'm going to leave you on that bombshell, but leave a like on the stream, hit the subscribe button if you are new. And don't forget, if you rewind to the start of the video, you'll see uh, what is up upcoming this weekend in terms of live streams. Thank you all very much for watching. <coughs> And have a lovely rest of your day, or just enjoy tomorrow. Enjoy the rest 